Hey everyone, and welcome to CTN Videos. Today I'll be showing you BlueStacks, a program that allows you to run Android apps on a Windows XP, Windows Vista, or Windows 7 PC, a Mac, or a Windows 8 PC optimized for touch screens. Now I'm running this on a Windows 8 PC, so I'm just going to be showing you the Windows 8 version, but this does work on older wi Windows computers and Macs, although those are both in the beta. So as you can see, you can run apps, you can run Android apps from basically anywhere. Let me go ahead and show you the actual program. So I've downloaded a couple of apps. Let me show you how to download an app first. So to download an app, all you do is you type in the name of the app you're looking for. So if I was searching for Temple Run, I would just type it in, it would search, and then you, and in just a second, okay, and here we go, here's a list of relevant entries. If I click install on like Temple Run, it'll search four Android app stores. It'll search Google Play, it'll search Amazon apps, and two other app stores, which I'm not 100% sure what they are. But in any case, it brings up any apps that I want. Now, so far, I've only downloaded apps from Google Play, which seems to have the most variety, and it seems to have all the apps I'm looking for. But I've heard reports that it works the same if you're downloading from any app store. I've only downloaded a couple of apps so far. I've downloaded Angry Birds, Star Wars, Sonic CD, Sonic 4 Episode 2, and Temple Run 2. Let me go ahead and give you a quick demo of something like Angry Birds, Star Wars. So as you can see, it's loading just as it would on an Android device, like a smartphone or a tablet, but obviously this is a PC, so it's definitely it's working so far. Um, I don't have a touch screen on this computer, so I'll be using this mouse, but it, it would work it would work the same whether this had a touch screen or not. Now, one thing I have noticed about BlueStacks is that it does seem to bring up ads. Now, um, that might just be because I've only bought light versions of these games so far. And I don't. It might not be BlueStacks itself, but it's a little bit annoying to constantly have ads popping up. That was an ad that seemed to correspond to the game, so maybe it was just the game. But let me go ahead and give you a quick demo of some gameplay in Angry Birds Star Wars. So, as you can see, I'm running Angry Birds Star Wars here, and it's running just as it would on an Android device or something like that. Um, uh, it's running very smoothly. Uh, if, if, it, if it seems a little bit choppy, that's because the screen recorder I'm using, it's not because the program itself is choppy. The program itself works just fine. It is a little bit awkward with a mouse and a trackpad, but if you if you use it with a touch screen, as I'm assuming you're probably intended to do, um, it, it, it I'm sure it would work a lot better. And even with a mouse and trackpad, it works just fine. Um, now, yeah. Um, so this is Angry Birds Star Wars. Let me go ahead and show you another app. There's a break if you if you go down to the bottom right corner, it'll bring up a uh, menu of things you can do. Uh, I'm going to go back. That's the op and, and I'm going to need to go back again and again and one more time. And I guess I do want to quit. Let me go ahead and show you some gameplay of Sonic CD. Now, th th this app works just fine as well. I only got the light version, but I'm assuming the full version again works just as well. And, yeah, I, I really think that it's cool that BlueStacks has brought Android apps to Windows 8 because, as you probably already know if you own a Windows 8 device, is that the Windows App Store is really quite limited. There aren't really that many choices of apps yet. And I'm sure in, in, in due time the Windows 8 App Store will grow. But until it grows some more, I'm really glad that BlueStacks has brought the whole Android experience to Windows 8. It's just really nice to be able to play a lot more apps. Now, Sonic CD, what I, feel, what's, what I really like about this this game is that it seems to be wor work with the keyboard. So I don't have to be uh, clicking the controls, which would be really, really awkward. I can actually use the arrow keys, and I use uh, J to jump. Um, you don't. So even though my device isn't a uh, isn't touch screen enabled, I can still play. I can still play apps. Actually, in some ways, easier, which is really nice because. I, I, with surfaces, for instance, which is what uh, which is what BlueStacks is designed for, Surface comes with a touch cover or a type cover, and those both have keyboards. So it would be really cool. It would be, it, may, it would really make Surface a really formidable gaming platform if you can use the keyboard as a controller. Uh, and Microsoft hasn't really advertised the Surface Pro's gaming capabilities so much, but at, at, from what I've heard, it's actually a pretty good gaming device. It's really got, considering it's packing an i5 processor and uh, Intel HD 4000 graphics, it really has the capabilities to be a pretty good gaming machine. And BlueStacks will help it g g at least give it a couple more 
apps to choose from. You can also run Steam on a Surface Pro, just so you know, though. So it's not like that's your only option. So there you go, that's uh, Sonic CD running on BlueStacks on a Windows 8 PC. Um, it, it, as you can see, it, you, you, it works just fine, no lag. Um, and yeah, that and this is that's blue stacks for Windows 8. Uh, I really hope if you have a Windows PC, I would highly recommend downloading this. It's all free, and you only have to pay for apps that you you want to. It just treats your device as if it's an Android device, but obviously you're still running Windows. So you just sign in with your Google account, and you can download apps just like you would on an Android device. Anyway, that's BlueStacks. Thanks for watching this CTN video. Please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Also, check out CTN's website at ctntechnews.com. Thanks for watching. Go download BlueStacks. See you next time.